Hi, I'm Ozzy Griffin and this is a quick video for Sexual Futurist. A uh, couple of days ago they asked me to do a video on uh, International Women's Day, which was which is on March 8th uh, every year. I said I didn't really have much of a stake, they said that's cool. I said how about I do one uh, instead on the Divine Feminine, and they said that'd be awesome. So here we are. Now, in short, uh, the Divine Feminine is trying to find uh, a way to incorporate things that are inherently feminine into one's spirituality. Now, I don't get into my spirituality, and this doesn't really correlate with anything I've been studying personally. However, uh, if you actually uh, study back in history, even uh, as recently, well, relatively speaking, as recently as the priests of Hermes back in ancient Greece, uh, that was only about 3,000 years ago, so <sighs> practically happened yesterday. Anyway, those priests would actually, not just in studying their magic, not only would they uh, study herbs and incantations, uh, the mysteries of the mind, they would also actually do some serious cross-dressing and live with temple priestesses of uh, Aphrodite for, I think it was a year or two, or that or a couple of months. Either way, it was a pretty extended stay. So they'd uh, basically try and understand women better to try and understand themselves better. And given that these were male priests, uh, by and large, when last I checked, uh, that really that really showed some significant commitment. So, uh, trust me when I say, uh, the Divine Feminine is basically whatever you feel it to be. And that means several different things if you look at the uh, spiritual traditions I'm referencing. However, it's also a case of trying to enhance, uh, for a lot of people it's a case of enhancing their spirituality by trying to find the more feminine side to a lot of things. Now, for a lot of women, they find this wildly empowering, and uh, for a lot of men, they just find it, well, about as distracting as they find a lot of things that women do. Anyway, what I'm saying here is, the Divine Feminine is something to be approached with contem contemplation and honesty. And if you do that, you can find out whether it's really going to, whether the further study of it is going to enhance your life, <clears throat> or just bore you to tears and give you another reason to nip, nick out and uh, watch NASCAR on TV. Either way, learning a little bit about it is never a bad thing. Anyway, I'm Ozzy Griffin. I hope this has been elucidating, or at least, uh, or at least time-saving, for everybody out there. And of course, you're watching this over here at Sexual Futurist.